Hi everybody, and welcome back to the iMachines TV channel. The Chenab Bridge is a remarkable engineering marvel located in the Indian state of Jammu and Kashmir. The bridge spans over the Chenab River and is part of the Udhampur Srinagar Baramula Rail Link project. The bridge's construction is a feat of engineering that required a complex design and construction process to overcome various challenges, including the bridge's height, the region's harsh weather conditions, and the seismic activity in the area. In this video, we will discuss the construction process of the Chenab Bridge in detail. The Chenab Bridge is an arch bridge with a height of 359 meters, making it one of the tallest rail bridges in the world. The bridge's unique design features a steel arch that spans a length of 467 meters between the two hills on either side of the Chenab River. The bridge's construction process was divided into three phases. The construction of the arch, the erection of the stay cables, and the construction of the bridge deck. The construction of the arch began in 2014 and was the most challenging and critical part of the construction process. The arch was built using a cantilever construction method, which involved building the arch in segments from both sides of the river and gradually joining them in the middle. The process required a high degree of precision to ensure that the two arch segments matched up perfectly. The construction team used advanced technology such as GPS, laser-guided machines, and high-quality steel to ensure the arch's accuracy and stability. The arch was constructed using a combination of structural steel and concrete. The steel was used for the arch's main structural members, while concrete was used for the arch's foundation and abutments. The construction team used a specially designed crane that could lift up to 1,200 tons to assemble the steel segments. The segments were bolted together and welded to create a sturdy and durable structure that could withstand the bridge's weight and the region's harsh weather conditions. Once the arch was complete, the next phase of construction involved the erection of the stay cables. Stay cables are critical components of cable stayed bridges and are used to support the bridge deck. The Chenab Bridge has 288 stay cables that were anchored to the arch using specially designed anchorages. The cables were made of high strength steel and were installed using a cable stayed erection technique. The process involved lifting the cables using hydraulic jacks and attaching them to the anchorages on the arch. The cables were then tensioned to ensure that they were in place and could support the bridge deck's weight.
The final phase of construction involved the construction of the bridge deck. The bridge deck was constructed using precast concrete segments that were placed on the stay cables. The segments were then joined together to create a continuous deck that could support the rail tracks. The construction team used a specially designed crane that could lift up to 750 tons to place the precast segments on the stay cables. The segments were then bolted and welded together to create a sturdy and durable structure. The construction process of the Chenab Bridge was not without its challenges. The region's harsh weather conditions, including heavy snowfall and strong winds, made it difficult for the construction team to work efficiently. The team had to use special measures such as heated tents and snow melting machines to keep the construction site operational during the winter months. The region is also prone to seismic activity, and the construction team had to take special measures to ensure that the bridge could withstand earthquakes. The jammu udumpur Highway is a 64-kilometer long road that connects the Municipal Committee of Udumpur with Jammu City in Jammu and Kashmir. It is a part of the Srinagar Jammu National Highway and is being reconstructed as a four-lane road with better bitumen pavement, new traffic signboards, footpaths, tax toll offices, traffic signals, and new tunnels with a minimum number of road curves to provide comfort to the passengers and reduce the distance between Udampur and Jammu. The National Highway Authority of India is funding this project, which is being carried out to boost the economy in the region. Constructing roads in hilly terrains is challenging, and the construction process is not as simple as it is in the plains. The project involves the construction of tunnels through the hills and bridges across valleys, which require innovative techniques to complete. The project is of immense national importance, and it sees heavy traffic due to the movement of goods and tourists to places like Katra, Devi Hamad, and Srinagar. The construction process is being carried out by the National Highway Authority of India, and the task is being funded by the government of Jammu and Kashmir. The project's completion has been scheduled six months before the planned time to finish it, and the construction team is working hard to make this possible. The project is a prestigious one, as it connects the sensitive northern frontier of Jammu and Kashmir to the rest of the country.
The construction project involves many challenges and the construction team has to innovate to overcome them. The project involves the construction of tunnels, bridges, and retaining walls, which require specialized techniques. Constructing roads in a hilly terrain requires the use of rock breakers and excavators to cut through rocks and hills. The construction team has standardized the span of the bridges, which has allowed them to go for precasting of the superstructure. This method has allowed them to construct a large number of structures within a short span of time. The team has also implemented a novel solution in the tunnels, where an L-cut drum cutter was used to cut through the rocks with scissor-like precision. This unconventional method has proven to work, and it has significantly speeded up the operation. The construction team has also used steel fiber reinforced shotcrete instead of conventional concrete lining in the tunnels. This method is faster and eliminates the time-consuming concrete lining process. The team has also used a special gantry for work in the tunnels, which has further sped up the operation. The construction team faced a major setback at the bun area, where a hill with a steep gradient stood in the way. The conventional approach was to build a road with multiple hairpin turns, but the design demanded that the minimum vehicle speed should not be less than 60 kilometers per hour. To overcome this challenge, the construction team created access for heavy machinery to pass by cutting the hill by nearly 40 meters. They also raised the land level on the riverside by 50 meters and carved a road with a smooth loop through the hill, allowing for a speedy and safe passage. The Jammu Udumpur Highway construction process is a challenging one, but the construction team is working hard to complete the project six months before the planned time. The project is of immense national importance, and its completion will boost the economy in the region. The project involves the use of innovative techniques to overcome the challenges of constructing roads in a hilly terrain, and the construction team is doing a commendable job. The construction process of KRCL tunneling project by AFCONS involved a number of steps and challenges. 
The tunnels were constructed through the Himalayan ranges, which made the construction more difficult due to complex geological variations. The project included the construction of five BG single-line railway tunnels, with the longest being around 11.2 kilometers in length. The first step in the construction process was the planning phase, where the engineers analyzed the geological features of the area and identified the potential risks and challenges that could arise during the construction process. They conducted extensive surveys and geological investigations to determine the best possible tunneling technique to be used. step was the excavation of the tunnels. AFCONs utilize the drill and blast method to excavate the tunnels. This method involved drilling holes into the rock face and then using explosives to break the rock into smaller pieces. The debris was then cleared using specialized machinery. During the excavation process, AFCONs faced several challenges including rock bursts, water ingress, and difficult terrain. The rock bursts occurred when the rock face suddenly gave way, which was a major safety concern for the workers. To mitigate this risk, AFCONs used specialized rock support systems and closely monitored the stability of the rock face. Water ingress was another major challenge faced by AFCONs during the construction process. The tunnels were being constructed in a region that receives heavy rainfall, and as a result, water ingress was a common problem. To overcome this, AFCONs installed drainage systems and waterproofing membranes to prevent water from entering the tunnels. The construction process also involved the installation of the railway tracks, signaling systems, and electrical equipment. This was done once the excavation was completed and the tunnels were deemed safe for use. Despite the challenges faced during the construction process, AFCONs completed the project within the stipulated time frame and budget. The tunnels have not only helped to improve connectivity in the region, but have also played a vital role in boosting economic activity in the surrounding areas. In conclusion, the KRCL tunneling project by AFCONS was a challenging undertaking that required extensive planning, specialized techniques, and expert execution. Despite the risks and challenges, AFCONS completed the project successfully and contributed to the development of the region.